Okay, listen, there's a play going on downtown. Well, I guess I probably shouldn't even have to tell you that it's an outstanding production because it's at Herberger, uh, Arizona Theater Company. And uh, besides that, listen, if you've ever said, you know what, how come they don't get Alan Jones and James Craven together? They did. For two trains running. And uh, when you're talking about a title like that, if people aren't familiar with August or August Wilson's uh, August. playwriting. Interesting, okay. Uh, then uh, they're gonna say, wait a minute, two trains running, that's the entire transportation system of America. Right. But it's, it's about some very, very serious issues. That's true, it's, uh, it's a play, primarily the, uh, the train reference has to do with it being a blues song, a three hour blues song that we're doing on stage. And the two trains is just the way that we transport our culture throughout the country. What is the, what is the, the, the key to the immense success that Wilson has had with these plays? Well, he's been able to capture the African-American experience for, for 10 decades. Yes, but for everyone. For, for everyone, but at the same time, you're taking a, a look at our culture through a period of, of decades. But it is for everyone because you are also learning about our culture. This is one of uh, ten plays, including yes, things like is. Fences, mm -hmm. that I know that everyone is familiar with, of mm -hmm. course. But two trains running, in particular, outside of the blues theme that goes on. Mm -hmm. uh, give everybody that right now is deciding what to do with the weekend okay. uh, a reason to come for the story. You come to the story because the story is dynamic. It has to do with uh, a lot of things that are going on in the culture right now, uh, specifically in the news right now. But uh, the play takes place in 1969. So if you want to take a look at a slice of America over the last 50 years and see that it hasn't changed very much, you'll come and see this play. And you will learn um, not only about what was going on in 1969 and comparing it to what's going on today, but you will also um, reevaluate your life in the culture today. Only as an African-American person? No. Or can we all We're Americans. Evaluate? First of all, we're Americans. We're not just African-Americans. This story is about African-Americans. But if you're an American, you will recognize this story in your own culture. And it's uh, uh, on stage until when? Until March 4th or 3rd? March 3rd. Okay, yeah. Don't go the 4th. No. Uh, because you'll get a lot of seat uh, choices. Uh, but there won't be any play going on. And this is at the Herberger Theater, of course, downtown. Have you done this show before? I have, yes. And you? I've done it five times. Wow. Same role? No. I've done three different roles in this play. Tell me about Wilson and you. Um, well, I met August Wilson, um, and I, I, I would say it was 1973 in Pittsburgh. Uh, and he was, a <clears throat> he was a poet at the time. And... Uh, <clears throat> then a uh, fellow by the name of Claude Purdy came along and uh, kind of picked him up and said, come on to Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota, um, because Lou Bellamy is going to start a theater there, an African-American theater, and we want uh, you, be, you to be a part of it. And uh, brought August into uh, St. Paul, and he started writing the plays. And he wrote the first five plays at Penumbra Theater Company, um, directed by Claude Purdy, uh, Lou Bellamy, and Marion McClinton. And... Um, and developed all his, his, the entire style and arc of the plays there. Then um, after that, he went on to uh, the McCarter Center and, uh, um, and uh, Broadway and Pulitzer Prizes and international fame. Truly international, no matter where you are. If you're talking to someone about theater and you mention August Wilson, they'll say, oh, yes, I remember, and then they'll talk about a moment that they had. You can have that same moment with two trains running coming up at the Herberger any time between now and the thirds.